Welcome back to the Freshfield Fitness YouTube channel and a big hello if you are new here. My name is Daphne and I'm a qualified gym instructor, personal trainer and a Tai Chi and Qigong instructor. What I thought might be useful and is a question that often crops up in class is how can I modify Tai Chi so it suits my body? And how can Tai Chi be simplified or modified to suit anybody? I'm a true believer that Tai Chi can be performed and practiced by anyone, any age or fitness level, and that you can gain lots of benefits to your physical and mental health by practicing regularly. So I thought I would do a few recordings over the next few sessions to show you how we can gradually use Tai Chi. So there'll be some sessions that are seated Tai Chi or maybe Tai Chi that's been modified for painful joints or maybe something more specific like Tai Chi for dizziness, so how you can modify your Tai Chi practice if you're suffering, suffering with a little bit of vertigo or a bit of dizziness or a loss of balance. So I hope you'll find these sessions really useful. I'll make sure that they are in a playlist all together and over the coming weeks we can add to those. So let's get on to today's session. It's going to be super easy, super simple, super gentle and super slow Tai Chi. We're going to do it seated. You can always follow along standing up and hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So let's get started. One of the Tai Chi principles we can really focus on while we are doing our Tai Chi sitting down is our posture. So try not to slump in the chair, sit forward so you can plant your feet firmly on the floor in front of you, make sure your chair is sturdy and I'd like you to lift up through the crown, so really stretch out the body, keep your abs engaged so that this core area is really kept strong and it's holding up the framework of your body. Okay, so we're going to bring the hands to the knees and we're just going to breathe in nice and slowly to a count of four. So one, two, three, four, and then exhale, breathing out one, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Breathing in and breathing out. So we're going to do something called opening stance. So with that breath, inhale, our arms just float up to shoulder height and come back down on the exhale. Let's do that again. So inhale, arms rise and exhale, arms lower. Taking your time. Let's go again. Bring our hands up to shoulder height and we're going to take one hand down to the tabletop and the other hand turn around to face ourselves and then we're going to bring the hands back up and bring them down. So let's repeat that with the other arm. So lifting up and then changing, holding the mirror. So like we're looking at ourselves in our palm down. Keeping the posture tall. Keeping the breathing calm. So this time 
we're going to add a turn of the waist. So lifting up, holding our mirror, looking at the palm. And I'd like you to focus on that palm as we turn towards it to the corner, bringing it back to centre, lifting up and relaxing down. Inhale and exhale, looking at your hand. Follow the hand, little turn of the waist. Back to centre. Lifting up and down. Let's repeat that. So really focus the mind on connecting to the body. So you can do this by focusing on the palms or energy points and really feeling your own flow. So like we're moving our hands and pushing them through water. Let's go again, other side. movement this time. So as you bring this hand down just sink the weight over to the same side here and then we're going to lift this foot and just place it to the same corner. On the heel bringing it back to our centre planting the foot and releasing and relaxing. So breathing in, still remember your posture, keeping it tall. Turn and heel. And then bringing it back. And starting to merge all these movements into one. So we get a fluid motion. well within your comfort zone so just listening to your own opposite way so gathering our chi energy and bringing it down so elbows pointing out and the fingertips pointing to each other and let's go again so all the way up the front and open up feel that stretch all the way down Just visualise a really full stretch. And keep the movement going and keep the breathing calm. Nice and 
way back to our first movement, breathing in. Holding the table, holding the mirror, taking our foot out. Bringing it here. This time I'm going to bring the hands in and we're going to stretch the foot forwards and bringing it back. And we're going to go over to the other side. Heel. Bringing the hands out, bringing the hands in. You can make fists, stretching and extending that foot forwards into a little leg lift. Let's go the other way. modifying our Tai Chi so that we're seated on the chair, so chair-based Tai Chi, still just as effective for delivering all those benefits to our physical and our mental health. Super slow session today. Just taking one or two simple Tai Chi movements and combining them into a lovely gentle exercise. Final one. Make it your best. hands up all the way to the ceiling. So you can lift your heels off the ground for a higher stretch and open out and all the way down. Bringing the heels down to the floor and then we can do the reverse. So as we lift up the hands, inhale and lift the heels and relax. Let's go again. So up the front, Stretching high through the fingertips, keeping the shoulders relaxed and down. Inhale here, gathering the chi, all our positive energy, and then bringing it in our bodies. Feeling good. joining me again today. I hope you found that session useful and over the coming weeks we'll do a few more of these sessions of Tai Chi modified so that it gives you a few options. Um, today's session super slow Tai Chi and Tai Chi seated chair based session so anytime, anyone, anywhere and any fitness level can enjoy and get some benefits out of Tai Chi. I hope you've enjoyed that session and do subscribe if you have. I'll see you again next time. Take care.